Now let's go over these prototypes. I got one, two, three. These prototypes are actually from a YouTube video from Marvel. Exclusive reveal alert! A Funko Pops for Marvel Studios Thor Ragnarok. And what happened with these pops was they had a plan to send these to Marvel for them to reveal them on the Marvel channel, but they weren't done yet. And they did different boxing with them. They said they can keep it. This is three that we have so far. Uh, and they were in the same boxes as the other ones. Like whoever Valentine is from Kingsman, you've been uh, granted service. I still have the other boxes to these as well. So what I'm gonna do now is show you guys the figures, examine them, show them to you guys, cause um, I don't know anybody else in the uh, world that has them besides one other person who, and uh, he's a vice president of Marvel. So let's check them out. I also have the inserts as you guys seen, and they were gonna go into pop stacks. So let's do one at a time individually ooh my personal favorite when i posted on a uh, funko facebook group of uh, on, uh protos the people went crazy people thought i was selling these i guess and they literally they literally were messaging me hey man uh how much can i buy this da, da, da. and i was like what what's selling them now when you get ceramic protos, especially these ones I've noticed, is they literally were the worst paint jobs possible. But it's interesting how to see how Funkel actually uh, makes these. So these are all parts here. So the sword is its own part, the arms are their own part, the legs themselves are just one piece. So this is basically, without the arms, is what you're getting. I don't see the torso uh, coming apart on this one at least. It seems that if this is all together and the arms come off. And then you have Heimdall's cape. It's pretty cool. And then you have the ceramic head. Um, if I drop this, listen. You hear that? If I drop this, it shatters. It's about the weight of a lacrosse ball. And you can see the hand-painted on there the hand painted sculpt is ridiculous the hair feels amazing it has uh, grooves to it this all has grooves to it and the beard the paint lines are insane and the most important thing you'll see is this is just a clay figurine and they uh, literally sculpted it by hand and then painted it right before the process of sending it to Marvel or the people in charge of Funko to then send it to Marvel who gets their approval for the paint jobs and the sculpts. So I know I get a lot of questions on what is a prototype. This is a, a ceramic prototype. This These prototypes are made first before the prototypes themselves. That's why they're so rare. This is a number three that we're adding now let's put Heimdall back next up the Grand Master number 20816 it says on the box 20816 just look at that paint job insane insane his legs come off you also can see the process of how Funko creates these how this would be its own production, the legs. So maybe Heimdall's legs cut, do come off from his body. And then, let's see if we can screw his head out. You have his body, which seems, which seems to be just one piece and with the arms as well. Very cool, very awesome. You did see this one piece. It literally just snaps in right there. And there you go with the legs and now the most important part the head um, by the way these these are like made out of 
it's it's much lighter than a, an actual pop like vinyl it's made out of something a little bit different it feels much different in my opinion and then like the hands it feel very fragile now the head itself look at that all the way around you can see how they the artist literally hand paints the blends for the hair insane as you can see when we get around to the ear how great and how perfect the paint job is hand painted by somebody and again, no bobblehead. All right. For some run, so for some reason, everybody's favorite, Hella, 15183, Pop 7 UN. All right. We got a girl, Hella, without her arm. Here's her arm. All right. Hella's arm is back on. And she does come with a cape as well. So this was the Target exclusive. I actually got the insert in the box and the pop from uh, Bradley Wessom, my boy. Um, her head comes off, obviously. Body-wise, you can see the legs detach. You can take those off. The arms detach. And they literally just make this little body here. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's so a little interesting to see how the, uh, the process of this goes. I did ask... Um, the director of Funko because he had so much footage of the mass production when he went over to um, was it Vietnam that he never got to post it in the movie and I told him literally to start his own YouTube channel and share it obviously get permission how awesome would that be guys I said do it and he does that with all this stuff and he's also working on another uh, toy movie as well all right the body boom talked about that cape literally just you just press it on just like that it does have the holes on the feet for it to stand and you have the Hella's face look at those eyes look at that nose look at the paint job that goes around perfectly perfectly hand painted no bobblehead again if you drop these they will like you can you can chip that off if you dropped it hair so cool so awesome again they're all about the the weight of a lacrosse ball so nice so what I'm gonna do right now is put these guys back in the inserts and then put them in pop stacks and put them on display for everybody well for me right now all right Heimdale you're up first buddy Let's attach that head oh Got some clicking all right Heimdale's done. Let's put him in a pop stack. I usually have a bunch. Only a true collector has pop stacks on hand. Heimdale, you're in, buddy. Hold your breath. Boom. Heimdale is sealed. Ready to go. Next up, we'll put the Grandmaster in. All right, pop stack. Two down, one to go. The only time I've seen, or even um, when I talk to uh, the the Funcast people, the only time that they have ever seen them as well is at the toy fair because um, they're not in product, they're not out of production yet. All right, best we're gonna get. You are going into a new home. All right, that's the three of them. I'm gonna go put them up in their spots now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know if you guys ever heard or seen something like this. There's also one thing. There's another person at the Marvel headquarters that has the Hulk, the common Hulk figure. And it has Hela as a uh, common. But I don't want her. I'm interested in one. Hulk. He is working on it. Oh, hopefully I can get that. What do you guys think? All right, we got some rearranging to do because somebody's getting the boot. Heimdall, the Grandmaster. 
That's two. Boom. Hella. There's one spot missing. And that's going for the Hulk. Oh man, I need that Hulk. Come on, baby, I need that Hulk. Or arm fell off too. But I'm gonna call it there. Today is Monday the 27th. I picked these up last week on a Wednesday with Punky in the city. It was an incredible day. Uh, Punky, if you guys, I don't know if I got to post it in the videos, uh, but Punky literally was the only female to actually pass. She did 23 push-ups. 23 push-ups. 23. She said the guys were falling. She said uh, some guys were stopping before her one guy had to get CPR and had to leave. Insane, right? For a sit-up, she did 41, so she got seven points on that. The shuttle run, which was pretty tough, she got 20, and like I said, she got to level four. And then she puked and didn't make a mess. So um, all the guards were like, bravo, bravo. Now, let me, look at this hair, it was purple yesterday. 